Good morning. Today I am smoking Chelsea Morning. And I know I have reviewed this blend before. I just wanted to talk a little bit more about it. I'm going to be smoking it a lot more frequently, I think, because as of now, it is the best early morning pipe replacement that I've found. It's a lighter English, so there's a lot of Latakia present in the flavor. It's extremely smooth, extremely cool. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they're using the same type of Latakia that's in 10 Russians. Just that super, super, like, there's no bite, there's no, like, it, it doesn't taste like getting smoke in your eyes feels, you know what I mean? It tastes very musty, it tastes very, like, cold, almost, like, I think, like, the dirt on the ground in the morning after you've been camping on a chilly fall day rather than like dry crusty earth in the middle of summer. I can also taste a little bit of burly. Slight, slight nut, like unsalted nut on the back of the palate. And I don't really get very much Virginia. It's a little bit there, but it's more just in the texture of the smoke, if you feel me. Like the way the smoke feels has a lightness, a very Sun, sunshiny quality to it that I typically associate with Virginia's. Mechanically, I actually do prefer the early morning pipe to this. Um, the way this flake is cut is really thick and rough, more like a broken flake than a ribbon. And often I don't mind that, but I've become so used to just easily packing a ribbon, not worrying about really the mechanics of how I'm packing. That just, it's gonna be a process getting used to that more broken flake cut and it's not like a strict broken flake it is technically a ribbon cut but it's a lot thicker than early morning um, it also burns a lot slower which again I don't really mind I just got very used to allocating a very specific amount of time 
for my morning pipe. So again, it's just gonna be getting used to taking slightly longer, which I don't mind. I just have to kind of rearrange how certain things about my morning go. It also doesn't stay lit quite as well. That might just be because I'm not packing it with enough care. You know, like I said, I'm used to just go. Um, so it could very well just be that I'm not packing it right, but my experience as of now is that it doesn't stay lit quite as well and it's harder to pack. So mechanically, there's just going to be some things to get used to. As far as being just a basic, uncomplicated, easy to almost tune out flavor, it is definitely that. Um, while the flavors are very good, they are not complicated. And I never feel like I've wasted a bowl by doing something else while I smoke it. I never feel like I need to do a deep dive into the flavor profile of this blend because it is very simple. It's something I am very familiar with. And most lighter English blends are, are that for me one pitfall I have in the with the pipe tobacco blending world is that most lighter English blends taste almost exactly the same to me. There's very little distinction. The main distinction is in quality of tobaccos used, which does affect the flavor but not really those big standout flavors. Um, it more affects the mechanics and the texture than anything for me. And I can tell, you know, it's GLP. They have a reputation for using very, very f good tobaccos and blending them very well. And I appreciate that. I can tell that they are using a different grade of tobacco than Dunhill was. And I can't say for sure if it's higher or if it's blended better, but it is different. So those are my updated thoughts on GLP's Chelsea Morning. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.